What's up, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new video on the Forgotten Trash Channel. And today we are exploring an abandoned high school. It's not just any high school. This high school was used as an academy. Um, I'm not quite sure what that means, uh, but it sounds like it was used for special things along with it being a high school. The interesting thing about this school, I wasn't able to find much information, but what I did find was the school was only active for some reason. It was only active for about 13 to 15 years. It opened in 19... 98 and closed in 2013 that's all i could find about this place along with this high school there's also an abandoned elementary school right next to this as well so if we have enough time we'll probably be able to hit up both spots that may due to the size of this place because i walked around the building to check it out to scope the place out it's a massive high school it's a pretty big high school we may not have enough time to do the elementary school within the same day so if we don't i'll just come back to it on a separate day but without further ado Let's get into his exploration. So guys, I'm in the car right now waiting for my friend to show up before we go to this place. And, I, and while waiting, I was looking up what an academy is. And apparently, it's just a fancy way for, a, for another way to say school. And to sum it up, academy literally is just a school that provides training in special subjects or skills. So basically subjects that you wouldn't get inside of a normal school. That's literally all it is. But yeah, that's very interesting. So possibly when we go and get inside this high school, we may find some things that we won't usually find in other schools that we've explored in the past. So yeah guys, that's basically all I had to say. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get inside. As you guys see me, this may remind you a lot of the school that we did back in 2022. Being very similar, as in they both did trained kid students for like um, to make them build skills for like jobs and stuff. So that's basically, as I was saying earlier, that's what an academy was used for. But as you guys see, you can have all these classrooms, mostly gutted, unfortunately. But this is a big school, to my knowledge. You got looks like a router. Yeah, it's like a hot spot around it, just hanging from the ceiling. So yeah, I don't know what you're gonna find in here, but you may find some good stuff. Just the office. This might have been the main office. Like a, I'm not quite sure what this would have been used for. Service dog books or something? Yeah. Some kind of defibr it's a defibr defibrillator. So that's something to do with the hallway, like maybe jump start it. Don't no. what? That would like jump start the hallway, right? Um, you can tell you, like, if your heart's like out of rhythm, it'll put it back into rhythm. Oh, okay. It won't like actually restart it. That's something else, I yeah. believe. Yeah, there's a bunch of books here. I wonder if the library would still be intact. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, there were some other ones. Looks like a lot of these. This red book. I saw some of them down the hall. It looks pretty new. Mm. You know, do you know when this school shut down? The school was shut in 2013. Okay. It was only open for 15 years, I think. It opened in 98. Yeah, I just wanted to say, this looks a little bit like, this doesn't look like the type of schools that like, I went to. No. Um, it's like, as I said, I graduated, oh, that's about the time I graduated from high school. It's too new to be a school of my era. Yeah, it's way, it's more of like my era of a school. Yeah. The school police. Yeah, you know, like, for instance, there weren't really school police when, there's another thing you might hear about school police and like stories. New stories about Chicago. Mm. There's a sign up here, guys, that says Health Suite. Someone's interesting. So this was part of a giant nursing office. So you got all these utensils right here. Oh, there's a, a hospital bed. Not like an actual hospital bed, but it's in like a nurse's bed. That's cool. 
We have a little nurse desk, a little nursing area right here. Yeah. That's cool. It's, it's interesting. It's, it looks like a browsing table because these would have been for your feet, but it's not. It's an interesting nurse, nurse's chair. So if you, that's an inhaler. Is it a COVID test? I don't think so. It's a pregnancy test. Mm. That's where the table, the seat was right there. They moved it. Oh, yeah. Or there was an extra one there. Yeah. Still got. What was that for your teeth? Yeah, it's for your teeth, I think. These are just all brand new books, yeah. Uh, These are unused books. Uh, this might have, they might have been empty in the school. These books might be from the library. So auditorium guys. That's that's a pretty big auditorium. Like a generic auditorium reminds me of other ones we've been to. It's interesting. They kinda have like a I don't know, catwalk to walk up here. That's very interesting that they constructed that. Unfortunately, in doing so, these three seats became useless. But yeah, it's a double layered auditorium as you guys see. There's another balcony up there. But yeah, it's actually pretty big, pretty big auditorium. There's a grand piano right there. We'll get a good look at that later. But yeah, here's an overview of the auditorium. That's actually very cool. I really do like that. Very big, very massive. And as we come down here, we got the piano, which surprisingly isn't, oh, I was going to say it's not that bad a condition, but people were etching stuff into it. So not all the keys work, unfortunately. It sucks, because this looks like it would have been a great piano at one point. Oh wow. Nice lighting, I know. Yeah, it's like Yeah, old. Not many really old, those are like pretty nearish Panathian boards over there. What? Those are Panathian boards, so like they would have like a projector screen. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is where that guy came out, but. Yeah. I guess he's gone or what? No. You even got monitors. Or the back of the monitor. We <laughs> have two different versions of Panathian board here. You got this one, which is a much bigger, bigger one. And they're learning about health and eating disorders. It looks like it's interesting. And then over here. Some other stuff that looks like vandals did that because this school was not open in 2022 uh, unless it was used for something else in 2022 which i'm not aware of but yeah it looks like your average study hall maybe computer lab look here somebody's birth certificate that's a birth certificate yeah oh god yeah, why is this printed out? Yeah, here, I'm gonna, I'll have a printer, but, uh... That's fair, yeah. What? That makes sense. I do that too. I mean, that's how, you know, people, like, they steal, uh, or they find birth certificates from, from like, people who died as, as babies. Yeah. And then they set up, like, credit cards in their names. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, anyway. 
It is. I mean, yeah, you can steal somebody's identity with just a birth certificate. So as my friend was saying, I'm not going to zoom in on any of this, but this is all like uh, student records. So she was saying, as you guys saw, we found a birth certificate. There's apparently social security numbers. Uh, there's records of people's like disability forms. So everything, and it looks like it's recent too. That's interesting because I'm seeing 2023, I'm seeing 2022. It seems like this building was still being used at some time recently, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's still amazing because like as you guys remember, um, at the recent video of like the hospital, we found records of all the patients. They are just left in giant rooms. They're, they're not just doing it in hospitals. They do it in schools too, and probably other facilities. It's nice. And you can put it on a tripod too, if you don't want to wear Oh, wow. It's a spacious gym. You got all that natural light guys coming in up there. It's a big one. For high school, this is like a pretty big gym. Got offices back here, which are probably just gonna be maybe a coach room, maybe some storage. And this looked like it was probably a coach office. Even still got like sports gear. So this school probably has everything because these are like field hockey or like lacrosse helmets. Still got those. In the hallway, I think I saw some football helmets, unless those were also the cross helmets. Welcome back here, guys. Okay. Last time I was in the locker room, I found jerseys, but I don't think we're gonna find much in these. I saw a bunch of football helmets. Did you see those? Yeah, I saw those. Yeah. Hockey sticks. Got some deodorant, guys. Yeah, there's some more down there. Got this bathroom right here. Got those interesting windows that I turn my light off. Wait, you guys. Oh, wow. And these are showers. That's a barrier. This is how they got the water. It's just exposed piping. Okay. It's not. Yeah, it was a shower. Those are drains. It's not really the best shower. And it's a shower room. You got anything back here? One um, very bright, brightly colored cleat, soccer cleat. Wow. You want me to keep the light on it? No, I might. I have my own light. I'm good. Okay. But that looks that looks fairly new. It looks like a fairly new shoe, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's gonna be much of oh, anything else. This is your, looks like a sports closet. Just all four of, these are, this is field hockey, or like, again, lacrosse helmets. It's interesting they left all this here. They could definitely give it to other schools for sure. Just a dictionary. What's this? Oh, it's just like, I don't know what this is, some kind of office for sure. Maybe this could have been the coach's office. The actual official coach's office. Definitely giving Lake Clifton vibes. Have you guys ever seen my video on that place? Very similar layout. Everything left behind. The only difference is it's more vandalized because we, when we did Lake Clifton, it was untouched and compared to now, unfortunately. Fallout shelter, that's from my era. <laughs> yeah, we still had mom girls when I was in grade school. J O O T C. Huh. Big open room. So this may have been 
a room where half it was lecture and half it was like lab stuff, like a trade school. Because yeah, as you see, US Army, so they were doing training here. So this is probably where they did training. And over there on the other side is where they um, did lectures, you know, like what you'd see inside a trade school, if you guys ever been to a trade school or attended any college class for that matter, they do stuff like that. It still seems like they have like soldier, the soldier's shoes that they would wear and probably their uniform possibly. But yeah, I haven't really seen that many because like the only other JROTC uh, uh, class or like, yeah, class inside of a school I've seen was inside Spingarn. Uh Every other school or high school I've explored, I haven't seen a JT, J O O T C. Got folders and everything here, guys. Look at this. The US Army. These are probably just folders. Yeah, these are just empty folders, stickers right there. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, they were using the school like freshly like a year ago because there's a calendar 2022-2023. So they were using it for something. Again, I don't know if they were using it for the academy because the official academy I think closed in 2013 based on what I read online. But it seems like this school was recently shut down. I didn't find anything from it closing in 2023, 2024. But it kind of looks semi-recent based on the vandalism, because like there is definitely vandalism, but there's not a lot, not compared to other places we've been to. So this place has probably only been closed officially for maybe at least a few years. Based on what we're seeing, it may be even shorter, one year or two. All right, my friend is set, yep, weight room. Oh gosh, that is, that's crazy. But yeah, as you guys see, it's a weight room. This, this is nice. The date here, on um, March 7th, 2023. Yeah, I've been seeing that a lot. So they probably, you know, 20, 20, 22, 23 school year, which was the last one, for a problem. Probably, but I, when I looked up the place, I didn't see anything about it of that current of a date. So it was probably, the school maybe went by a different name at that time. Yeah, because they like break these schools down into multiple different like academies yeah. and stuff like that a lot of the times. So in fact, like look at this. Um, this is basically what we saw before, but like it's like only this part of the school was academy. Oh, so maybe only a part of the school was open. Yeah, because this is like out, of, so maybe academy shut down but like maybe they're still using these facilities oh, so you only closed half of the school maybe yeah yeah because they do have some places so guys it kind of seems like vandals were probably stealing some of the equipment because like some like even looks like they're breaking some of it or like breaking it down because some of these look like they are still functional to an extent and like these equipment are not cheap each one of these are probably a few hundred to a thousand dollars especially these multi-use ones those are like at least a few K to maybe 3,000. I may be thinking a little too steeply, but like these things are not cheap compared to just buying normal dumbbells. These are not cheap pieces of machinery. So the fact that they just leave, again, like, it blows my mind that schools and hospitals leave all this stuff behind because like, it's either worth a lot of money or the stuff they leave behind is very confidential information. But yeah, this is like worth money and it's decent condition, you know? It's not rusted, it's not corroded. Um, the only downside is that people have come in here and vandalized most of the prop, most of the structures or have taken them apart or stolen them entirely as you guys see right there. So yeah, it's a shame. Oh God, yeah, this whole hallway here is burnt, but this is the cafeteria, guys. Got some interesting sculptures right here. Pieces of art, maybe from, maybe from what the students made. It's nice that they hung that stuff up. This would have been like your small kitchen, I think. Oh yeah. Cafeteria stuff. 
tap only. Yeah, this is where all the stuff would have been cooked. That's where all your ovens would have been, I believe, right here. This giant thing right here is probably a vent. This would have been the trays right here is where you would have served your food all down there that looks like a fridge of some kind but yeah your food would have been placed right here and you would have served it to the students so they yeah so they must have closed the school recently yeah i can find out for sure yeah, it looks like they had a safe back here Yeah, I don't know if you get inside that, guys. Some kind of P PC right here, computer. But yeah, you got a big, beefy safe. This is just another fridge, I believe. Let's hope there's nothing inside of it. All right, thank God, there's nothing in here. I think your friend's right about medical stuff. Is this? That's either from a medical room or a biology room. So I think this is the balcony guys for the auditorium. Yeah, this is the second floor. Not bad, not bad looking auditorium. Pretty spacious. This looks like it has took more than 300 kids though. Yeah. So maybe at one point it had 300 kids and then yeah, it just expanded it. But yeah, like I was saying guys, very spacious auditorium. It looks like this floor may be empty, but we take a, we take a look around. We may find some stuff. Cause we did find some stuff in the First floor. I don't know if there's a basement. I don't think there is. But if there is, you probably may have to enter it from a side staircase. Yeah, I think every classroom is going to look like this, guys. Beautiful sunlight again, might I add. But yeah, every classroom is probably going to look like this. But there's some treasures here. Besides the monitor right there. There's this projector of some type. I have no idea, really how old this is, but it's definitely a projector. But yeah, very nice light just coming in. Sunset is about to happen within the next two hours. So we are hitting probably almost the golden hour. So best, probably some of the best light you'll get for exploring. Huh, oh, these are music rooms. <laughs> wow. Looks like it's part of a game of some sort. But yeah, these are music rooms back here. You got this piano. Oh, that's an old piano. Wow. I'd be surprised if any of these keys work. And they do. Wow. That's an old one. That's an ancient one. And it looks like on the other side of that wall. So both of these are music ramps. This is what one looks like when it's completely gutted. It's a very empty room. Here we go, guys. This looks like the science wing. Somebody was collecting copper. He was storing it in this box. He just didn't finish. A 
I have no idea what any of these are for. I forget what this is. I've used this in science class. Lab aid. <laughs> Surprised that still works. It's on batteries. It's a Probably. dead cat. Yeah, come on. I actually have a whole album of dead cats. Um, they really gross me out, but I still have a. Is that an is that like a taxidermy cat or like an actual cat? That is a good question. Got brand new books here, guys. It's fascinating. No, oh, no, it's a taxidermy cat. Oh. That's an actual cat. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Is there a label on this anywhere? Eye droppers. Where is the label? Hmm. But yeah, that's probably where the second cat came out of. Someone took it out of the bag for some reason. There's a little, little um, cephalopods. Oh, that's cool. Please there's no more dead cats. It's a bunch of chemicals. Oh, gosh. That's a lot of chemicals. Surprised these haven't been smashed or stolen yet. Yeah. So these like pills, test test tabs. What's in um, those bags? Are those red rats? Oh, those are frogs. Those are frogs. They look like frogs. That looks like frogs. I don't know what that is. They look like frogs too, actually. Yeah. There's some kind of animal, for sure. This is almost like a fish. I don't want to touch it. And yeah. Not that it's going to bite me or anything, but it, I'm terrified of it. Oh, another, another cat! Oh, no, okay. I don't know why I'm terrified of dead things, because like, it's not like they can hurt me. It's crazy guys, I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting this was just to be a normal classroom, just normal biology, chemistry, action, but we actually found taxidermy animals. Like I've seen a lot of YouTube videos of people exploring abandoned schools and finding taxidermy animals. But this is the first, <laughs> this, I don't know, like, it's probably because I wasn't expecting it, because maybe if I was told, or I had some awareness that I would find taxidermy animals, I probably wouldn't be this surprise as well but the fact that i wasn't aware that all this was here because i had because i was told before we saw this exploration that like there was definitely kept, uh, medical stuff in here so the medicine makes sense but when the taxidermy animals just threw me off but uh if they you know if they were like, able to plan to like evacuate this or evacuate but to vacate this if i would take them to but there's like nothing yeah no uh, this is empty of yeah this is completely empty Yeah, this is just big empty library. So guys, there's not much interesting in this hallway right here, but in this classroom, I'm just showing this off because the desks, these desks are basically just perfectly aligned. I don't know if it's set up by other explorers or whatever, but it's just interesting to just see these desks just lined up here in a row. Very nice cabinet right here. But yeah, all the classrooms in this hallway are basically empty, just like this one. But yeah, like I was mentioning to my friend, these are most likely this hallway was a science, not science, art gallery. We got a storage room right here. Seems like what is, what treasures are left in here? Floppy disks, obviously. Um, nothing that important, it's just silver room. But yeah, it was correct, it is the art room, or the art hallway. You got a bunch of paints. But yeah. Got some banners, it looks like. You got these things, if you guys remember what these things are. You probably use these when playing bingo, because it has like a thing on top. I think, unless this is just 
yeah, I would have had like a thing right there with ink in it, and that was your stamp for like bingo cards. Haven't seen one of those in probably 10, 15 years. Yeah, there's another one right here, guys. <laughs> this room is just full of papers. There's always one room like this in a school where there's papers just thrown everywhere. Probably students' classwork. Hey guys, so we did all of this, so I think it's time to go upstairs to the final floor. See what they got. So it's interesting that they kind of like sealed these ones off. Maybe when the school was reopened at one point, they didn't use the upper floor, so it made it look older compared to the rest of the building. Because it does seem like after 2013, they sectioned off part of the building and then reopened the other half. From what I'm seeing, got a science room right here. Properly lit room as well. Look at that light and some nice sunlight. This one's pretty well cleaned out. You got books right there. It's a bunch of supplies. Got an old biology book. So maybe that classroom on the floor below us was a chemistry classroom because this was definitely a biology classroom. Yeah, this thing, wherever this is. Some kind of electric board. You would attach these wires here and you would have somehow configured it in a way to make this bell ring, which is pretty cool. Oh, wow. I Optical. Yeah, I have no idea what that is, guys. Some kind of light or something. But yeah, this was, would have just been the materials. It looks like just a bunch of materials. No taxidermy cats this time. But you know, you got your stuff, you know. Got some chemicals right there. A lot of beakers. A lot of beakers, actually. But you even got stuff in drawers, you know. You got safety goggles. You got hoses, I think, of some sort. Yeah, so it's still got stuff. Just no dead animals this time. We had physics. This was a physics class. You got a graduation tassel from, is this when the school shut down? The first time, 2013? Yeah. That's when the school shut down before, apparently they reopened at some point, I didn't even know that, but that's when the school first shut down, before the reopening. Yeah, there's a bunch of tassels here. Some kind of... Yeah. There could be graduation gowns. This might actually be them right here. These may be graduation gowns. Yeah, because there's a graduation hat. These are like awards. High attendance award. Mm -hmm. That's what that would have been for. It says, grades 9 through 13. Oh, well, I guess it would have to be high school for graduation. Though I guess some places do do junior high school graduation, I guess. I'm getting here. This is just a bunch of books here, guys. Math books. I think if you think of any subject, they'll be here. Geometry. This may also may just always be math books, but look at them. This is so many. They're all just chilling here. Is this more science classrooms back here? Yeah, seems like it. These are more gutted. But these are definitely science classrooms or biology or whatever. Which is a form of science. Got a very old, beefy laptop. Look how beefy that is, guys. Yeah, we don't, we know it's old when the laptop is like that thick. What? It's back here, guys. Just a 
bunch of random stuff. More beakers. All of these boxes just have a bunch of random science equipment. There's a stethoscope. Well, not a stethoscope. Um, microscope. There you go. Yeah, there's another one over there, guys. Sorry. Hello. Looks like a little fish tank. But yeah, this is just like extra science storage. And then there's the, the wheels. Oh, it hasn't been assembled yet. Yeah, it hasn't. That's cool. Well guys, it looks like we may have another floor, or like partially of a floor to do. I'm not exactly sure. These may all just be at roof access points. Yeah, it's all roof access, but you get a good view of the city. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful sunlight that we're getting right now. It's kind of golden hour. Um, but yeah, since we're on the roof right now, we're basically done with this exploration, so I'm going to leave it here, guys. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this exploration. It was a very fascinating one. Found some very interesting things here that I was not expecting to find. Some stuff I was expecting, because again, it was an academy school. But at the same time, a lot of things I was not finding, especially the taxidermy animals, I was not expecting to find those at all. So, hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.